Recently, in the past 5 to 10 years or so, the streets of cities around the world have been covered in these self-service package lockers. These allow people to receive and send packages in a contactless, fast, convenient, and decently private manner, all for a small fee. In my opinion, these are the best, or at least one of the best methods of shipping smaller packages. In this video, I'll make the argument that package lockers just make sense on an economic, environmental, and convenience level. Before the video starts, please consider subscribing. It's free, and it helps out a ton. Thanks, and on to the video. Self-service package lockers, due to their relatively compact form factor, can be fitted pretty much anywhere. To capture enough demand to make them worth it, they are usually placed in places with high foot traffic, such as next to supermarkets, in train stations, next to or inside malls, inside office parks, etc. This makes it really easy and convenient to pick up your packages when going to or from work, when going shopping, when going somewhere on a train, among others. Another thing to consider is the likelihood of the package getting stolen. I think the likelihood goes like this. Getting the package shipped to a post office or picking it up at the store is the safest. Then, getting the package shipped to a package locker is still very safe, but slightly less so. And then, especially in the US, with the open and freely accessible front yards of most houses, getting the package shipped to the doors runs the highest risk of it getting stolen by porch pirates. In my opinion, Package lockers offer the best trade-off between convenience and the risk of getting the package stolen. As for the lockers themselves, usage of them is thankfully very simple. Usually, after ordering something, once the package is delivered, you will receive a code from the delivery company. You walk up to the locker, input the code, and a segment of the locker opens, revealing your package inside. You simply take the package out and close the door. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. Package lockers don't just make sense for customers. They also make sense for logistics companies. There are multiple ways companies deliver packages, each one with their own benefits and drawbacks. Traditional postal services either deliver to your house or to a post office. Delivering directly to someone's house is less efficient than delivering to a centralized location like a post office, due to having to make numerous stops frequently and so, it's more expensive. However, running a post office is quite expensive as well, considering labor costs, rent, utilities, and others. Modern logistics companies, like FedEx, Amazon, or something like Zasilkovna in my home country of Czech Republic, use slightly different approaches. While FedEx operates their own physical locations, called FedEx offices, many others franchise their physical locations out to independent franchisees. For example, the physical locations of UPS, called UPS stores, are still operated under the UPS brand and offer a full suite of services, such as shipping and picking up packages, printing, document shredding, etc. The primary business of these locations is to offer UPS store services. In contrast, something like Zasilkovna takes a different approach. Zasilkovna partners with thousands of retail stores all around the countries it operates in to provide exclusively packaged shipping and pickup services. For this, Zasilkovna pays the store 8 Czech crowns or 0.31 euros per package. The primary business of these locations is not to ship packages and allow for package pickup. Zasilkovna presents this model as a partnership, in which the store gets increased traffic and advertising, and Zasilkovna gets another location to make its service more competitive. And lastly, there are the package lockers. Package lockers serve as a middle ground between delivering directly to houses and delivering to large, centralized locations like post offices or physical stores. They allow for convenient pickups and shipping, without couriers having to go to every single house, providing an effective solution to the last mile problem. This means that logistics companies can deliver and pick up packages from lockers in a cheap and efficient manner, without having to shell out tons of money to go to lots of houses. The cost of installing a package locker varies, and multiple sources provide conflicting information. However, the cost is usually in the range of about 9 to 14,000 euros. However, the cost can get higher for larger, more technologically advanced lockers. There are also operating costs, such as power, maintenance, and rent. Although these expenses are almost always lower when compared to full physical locations, especially considering the negligible labor expenses. 
Newer models of package lockers are also fitted with things like solar panels to reduce operating costs and make them more environmentally friendly. Because of the operational efficiencies that come with economies of scale, by delivering to a more centralized location, delivering to package lockers is almost always cheaper. For example, if I want to order something from Alza, the Czech Republic's equivalent to Amazon, I can have it delivered to a locker for 49 Czech crowns or 1.93 euros, or I can have it delivered directly to my house for 99 Czech crowns or 3.89 euros. Package lockers also make sense on an environmental level. Here's how. Package lockers help to reduce carbon emissions, air pollution from exhaust fumes, and more. Making a few trips to package lockers dispersed around a region is way more efficient than making trips to tens, if not hundreds of houses in that same region. The proliferation of package lockers could also lead to reduced traffic. Picture this, you live here, on the edge of Prague. Your headphones break, and so, you want to buy a new pair. You could hop in your car, drive to the electronics store, pick them up, and drive back home. Alternatively, you could order them online and have them delivered the next day to your nearest package locker, which is probably just a short walk away, or at worst, a short bike ride or transit ride away. This approach would save you a car trip, and so, reduce traffic congestion in the city. The air would also be a tiny bit cleaner, and you would save money on fuel. Combined with the capability of modern package lockers to run at least partially off solar power, package lockers can be a very environmentally friendly option for logistics companies. In conclusion, package lockers are one very, very solid way of receiving and shipping packages. They are easy to use, relatively cheap to maintain and install compared to full physical locations like post offices. They offer a more environmentally friendly alternative to shipping directly to someone's house, while reducing the risk of getting your package stolen from your front porch. Combined with other methods of receiving and sending packages, package locker networks can be an incredibly useful addition to almost any town or city around the world. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching to the end, you're a real legend. If you'd like to support my work, I have a Ko-Fi page with three membership tiers, all of which bring you sweet benefits, like early access to my videos. There are also affiliate links to the equipment I use to make these videos in the description. Any help would be greatly appreciated. I'd also like to take this time to thank Monday's Last Brain Cell and Aero Martian for supporting the channel with the top membership tier. I can't express how grateful I am for the support. Enjoy the bloopers, this has been Tramley and I'll see you next time, bye! Self-service Bruh. However, the cost is usually Ah. New Huh? <laughs> because of these operational efficiencies, compared to the <laughs> Making a few trips to package lockers dispersed around the region is way more efficient than make Bro. Alternatively, you could order them on Order. Ah. <laughs>